Hi, I'm Lucy and today I'm joined with Jenna here from the Council and I'm going to ask her a few questions about fair trade. Firstly, what is fair trade? Yeah, fair trade is a non-profit organisation that helps farmers throughout the developing world. So fair trade ensures that farmers get a decent minimum wage, that they have fair trade conditions and that they have decent working conditions as well. It also ensures that they can set up trade unions and that they can fight for better conditions for themselves. Fair trade ensures that there's no child labour or slave labour used on any farms in any country. What is the council doing about fair trade? Well, your school is in Armagh City, Banbridge and Craig Avon Borough and we are a new council area but in 2012 Banbridge District Council became a fair trade zone and that meant that Banbridge and all the surrounding towns were doing their bit to help fair trade. The retailers and the cafes and all the different shops were selling fair trade products and the churches and the schools were supporting fair trade. This year we're trying to extend fair trade to cover the entire borough which will be all of Craig Avon and all of Armagh as well. And that means that we need retailers to be selling the products, we need cafes to be selling fair trade products as well and all the different shops. And we need schools and churches to really be supporting fair trade. So all the pupils in this school could go into shops and start asking for more fair trade products to try and support it. Yeah. What involvement do students have with fair trade? Well, we rely on students and schools to campaign for fair trade and to make the right choices and to go out and support fair trade. Any school can become a fair trade school. They only have to achieve three goals as set out by fair trade. Or any school can take part in the fair trade awards as well. So anybody in this school could go and have a look at the fair trade website and just decide that they want to help support us. But um, students can also just make very conscious decisions that when you go into the shops, if you're buying a bar of chocolate, that you choose a dairy milk because it has a fair trade symbol on it, or you choose a Kit Kat because it's fair trade. You can also make conscious decisions when you go and buy your clothes. You can buy fair trade cotton products and make sure your t-shirts are made from that. Or you could speak to your school and your board of governors about in future having your school uniforms made from fair trade products as well. Are there only fair trade products food? No, there are over 4,500 fair trade products available on the market. So you will see them all the time, the likes of the chocolate that you buy, or if you like ice cream, Ben and Jerry's ice cream is fair trade. Coffee is well known, and tea and sugar. Everybody knows that they're fair trade, and you do spot the fair trade mark on them, but you have to look a wee bit further. You can buy fair trade flowers, like roses. Mother's Day's coming up if you want to buy your mom's any fair trade flowers. And you can buy fair trade cotton clothing as well. You can also buy fair trade jewellery so that you know that if your jewellery is made from silver or gold or platinum that that has been mined in an ethical way. So you can find a fair trade stamp on any gold jewellery as well. But as I said there's four and a half thousand products so you will see a fair trade stamp on lots of different things in the shops. Oh wow. So thank you so much for coming in Gemma. Thanks very much for having us. Goodbye.